faculty, as we got our uh, funding for this project, discussed that we want to make these changes to our freshman and sophomore classes. Uh, and our, our goal, our mission from the faculty of the mechanical engineering department is to improve undergraduate education in mechanical engineering. So that's what they gave us as a problem statement, so I'll go ahead and write that down. We're going to improve undergraduate education in ME. That sounds like a fine goal, but we need to make sure that we have a clear problem statement. So let me see. I took good notes in lecture the other day, so let's see what we need. So first we need to define the groups involved, and then clarify the main objective, and then finally identify any constraints. Good point. So first of all, let's define the groups involved. Um, well, the designers, uh, the people who are going to make the changes to ME1000, are Professor Romer and the two of us. So these are our designers. That's good, but I think we should also include our TAs because we'll probably need their help. This is going to be a big project. So oh, good point. TAs, Dante, Muhammad, and Travis. Now we've got a big group of designers. Great. So, and I'll fix my box here. Um, so now we need clients and users. We put our client here and our users here. We're short on space, so we do see we've got our uh, design triangle right here. Um, we're doing all of this for the Department of Mechanical Engineering. The uh, faculty asked us to do it, so that makes them our client. Right, and our users are the ME undergraduates. Now, for our problem statement. To improve undergraduate education, we probably first need to improve our undergraduates' understanding of math and physics. Ah, I like how our uh, problem statement is evolving. Although, improve understanding of math and physics, I think that's really important, but for ME1000 that's probably Still a little bit too broad for what we can do in, in one of our four semester series of courses. Um, what if we say improve understanding of kinematics and dynamics? That sounds great. I think if we can do that, we'll certainly accomplish Dr. Engel's um, goal of improving undergraduate education. Good, so let's brainstorm some ways that we could do this in our undergraduate curriculum. All right, so how could we, how could we improve this for our students? Um, Hmm. Uh, I know, we could increase the student credit hours in ME1000. We could make it a four credit class. Oh, I love that idea. We could do a lot more in ME1000 if we, if we had a four student credit hour. Um, what else could we do? Well, we need them to improve their knowledge of physics, so we could just say uh, that we're going to require A's in physics. Mm. Or we could make them do the physics labs. Oh, that's great. I like that. Um, we could even do interactive physics demos in one ME1000. Or maybe we should get better teachers. Ha! <laughs> I think we could do that if we increase faculty salaries. We could definitely be better if we had big, bigger salaries. And we could also have students do extra homework. Mm.
That's not a whole lot of work for us, but the students might learn the material better. Anything else? That's all the ideas I have. Okay, so let's go on to think about our constraints. Here, let me pull up Dr. Emil's message and see what he said. Okay, he wants us to accomplish his goal in ME 1000 without affecting the rest of our undergraduates' requirements. Oh, that's tough. That's going to rule out uh, most of our ideas. Uh, if we don't want to change the requirements, we can't require A's. This idea technically is ME 1000, but increasing the student credit hours would affect them. Other places require physics labs. Um, well, we're left with, do you think we have any control over better teachers? I think they're stuck with us. <laughs> Afraid so. All right. Interactive physics demos in ME 1000 and extra homework. Well, we can pretend the students are here and ask for a show of hands. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they're not going to go for the extra homework. Good point. <laughs> All right, so let's recap. Our problem statement is to increase undergraduates' understanding of kinematics and dynamics. This is developed uh, from the goals that our client, the ME faculty, gave us. Uh, to recap, our designers are ourselves, the professors and the TAs who are developing the new material in ME1000, and our users, of course, are the ME undergrads. All right, our overall objective that we uh, came up with is to make physics demos that we can use during ME1000 lectures. Good, now let's work on an objective tree to flesh this out a little bit more. So given our constraint that came from Dr. Emil that this should be limited to ME1000 and not affect other things in the undergraduate curriculum, I think the key objective is that these demos be practical for ME 1000. Good point. Okay, and then that probably um, puts a couple constraints on the problem. So, probably time and money. Yeah, that looks good. We probably need these demos to happen in less than 30 minutes so we can fit them into our lectures. Uh, and we've got $1,000 total to make the demo, so we could either make one really expensive one or lots of inexpensive ones. That's something we'll have to look at as we continue to go through the design process. Um, now, something Dr. Rummer wanted me to be sure to bring up uh, is that these de uh, demos also have to be safe. For example, you could think of things like rockets, but I think we should say no explosives and no combustibles. Yeah, I agree that we need to be safe, but do you really think that's a top level objective? Well, I think safe is really, really important. We don't want to harm our students. Certainly. <laughs> That's very true, but remember that the hierarchy in objective trees doesn't correspond to importance. Rather, it's a way to group objectives that go together. So we want to put the most general objectives at the top and then more specific objectives lower down. So we'll group them um, general and specific. Ah, that's a good point. In fact, let's write that down. General to specific. Well, hmm, let's come back to the safe. One of the things that I would like to see about these physics demos is that they be interactive. Yeah, I think that's really good, and I think that makes a much better um, top-level objective. So how about we get rid of this and put safe underneath interactive? Oh, that's great. Okay, I also think it's important that these demos be focused on key concepts. focusing on key concepts. So for instance, uh, in kinematics, we could do four bar linkages. Uh, and to look at dynamics, we could look at F equals MA and T equals I alpha. Okay, 
good. I think this looks really good. Why don't we stop here and in class next time we can ask the students if they have any suggestions to make this better or if they can catch any mistakes we might have made. Sounds great. So students look close and see if you can see any problems with our objective tree.